The clip you're about to watch is a conversation between Eric Weinstein and Joe Rogan. This is a relatively recent conversation. It has to do with war, inflation, COVID, Epstein, the Ohio spill. He's breaking down the distrust that exists in most people's minds and imagination in light of 2020 and everything that took place there. At the end of this video, I'm gonna chime in from a Christian perspective. I have basically three observations that I want to make. And so with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the video. And I hope you enjoy, here we go. So you've got people walking around completely dissociated because everything in their daily environment tells them to pick up the dry cleaning. Right. And, you know, oh. Everything's fine. Well, what's on Netflix? Yeah. Um, at least in the Cuban Missile Crisis, my father was driving across country. I said, you knew it was the, <laughs> he says, everybody knew it was the Cuban Missile Crisis. Every single town that he drove through, he would stop and the TV would be on. People were talking about it, right? We are in some world where, and I think that we have to just talk about the fact that the United States is attacking ordinary intelligent human beings by depriving them of any basic knowledge of what is actually going on. We don't know what happened with the origin of COVID. We have no idea about Epstein. We don't know what's going on with the vaccines. We don't understand the source of the inflation. We blinded ourselves from looking at the M1 monetary aggregate when the Fed pumped us full of cheap cash. We have no clue how to resolve, um, you know, something as dumb as the Epstein. To whom did did Ghislaine traffic? I don't know. Yeah, well, can't find it. Sorry, bye. So Click. this is what's causing, in part, our friends to go crazy. Most of them, I don't think, have figured out that they're starved for information, and that, and I'm going to say something very heterodox, her, heterodox to the heterodoxy. The heterodoxy was never meant to take over for the orthodoxy. The orthodoxy was something that needed correction. The purpose of the heterodoxy is to say, oh, you're, you're 12 degrees off, you're three degrees off. Mm -hmm. What do you do when you're like 168 degrees off? And all, you know, like the fine tuning that heterodoxy can do is not sufficient to correct the ship. And what we're being, what's happening to us, and I said this to Sam at a dinner with Dave Rubin right before Trump took over. I said, Sam, if you don't take a different approach to Trump, he's going to blow out your circuits. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, for every ambiguous thing that you can't resolve with Trump, um, raise two to that power. So if he puts three ambiguities uh, in a series, you have two to the third possibilities of what could be true. That's eight. He can create a decision tree that explodes faster than you, Sam Harris, can think, right? There's no way you can get to two to the fourth possibilities on a decision tree. And Sam, did, I don't think he understood the perspective. And so what happened was we were all swimming in this world where nobody could tell which end was up. Nobody can resolve anything. When Trump created ambiguities or now the Biden group is creating ambiguities by not telling us what's actually going on, you don't know how serious this uh, East Palestine, uh, Ohio spill is. Is this something that's going to burn off pretty easily or is this getting into the corn crop that's going to be found in all processed food? I don't know. I don't know how It's a very good question. Right. Okay. So just every day you're being assaulted by completely unnecessary ambiguities. In light of the distrust that exists in our world today, in light of how difficult it is to get good and accurate information, there is, I think, a tendency for Christians to sort of jump to conclusions at times and to think that everything is the mark of the beast. Every <laughs> potential political candidate that we don't like is the Antichrist. And I could give a ton of examples of this sort of like quickness to make these judgment calls. And I think the problem with this is that we are then easily discredited when we're wrong in the eyes of the world. And basically Christians are looked at as basically lunatics. And also this fundamental distrust in institutions can lead to negative places. You can go to, is to the extent of believing in like flat earth theory, as an example. I think that it is so important that we don't take the bait. And what I mean by that is that we don't jump at these things that are probably, at, from a spiritual perspective, actually designed to be distractions. It is important that as Christians, we are most primarily experts in the kingdom of light, not in the kingdom of darkness. It is important that we keep the main thing central. The reason I say that is that we're living in a cultural context wherein 
the vast majority of people are not just immoral, but are actually biblically illiterate. People do not know who God is. People do not know what is actually inside of the Bible. Our primary thing that we have been asked to do by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is to make disciples and is to preach the gospel to every nation, tongue, and tribe. That is that is our primary mission, is to, is to make Christ known to the people around us. I ask anyone listening to this video to take some action on that. Go out this week, go out today, be, be bold and courageous, preach Christ crucified and risen again, and, and trust that many of these other things will fall into place. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, all the things, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.